Today, I've got an expensive mystery box. I got a Toy USA $500 Funko Pop mystery box. I love the higher price point boxes. I gobble those things up. This video is brought to you by ShopZobie.com. Zobie is the home of the first ever V Shout virtual celebrity shout out and autograph program. For one low price, you will get a celebrity to sign an item for you and give you a personal video message. Check out the shopzilby.com website and make sure to use my promo code KICKS10 to save 10% off most everything on the website. Shopzilby.com is your number one source for authentic celebrity autographs. But before we start, you know what we gotta do? I got appetizers for us. I brought us some appetizers. You can't just jump into a $500 mystery box. You can't just jump into that. You gotta, you gotta warm up a little bit, right? So I have before me is two Chrono Toy Fungal Pop mystery boxes. These are 15 bucks a piece, lower price point boxes, low price point, low risk. You might get a common pop out worth, you know, 12 bucks, lose a couple dollars. You might get out something worth 30 bucks, double your investment. You never know. But Chrono Toys, I've actually had pretty good luck. Last year in 2020, I was very happy with Chrono Toys, the value that they put in these boxes. You will get a lot of overseas stickers, but uh, they'll still have value to them, <laughs> you know? Here we go, first one, $15 mystery box. No pop protectors, we'll find out anything massive. We have Parks and Recreation. We have Ron Swanson, Parks and Recreation, okay. This came out in, night, or it looks like December, of, actually just literally a couple months ago, December 19. Parks and Recreation, Ron Swanson. Box looks to be in pretty much minty condition. I'm gonna use the WhatNot app, look up prices in this video. WhatNot app will tell you the PPG value and you can actually can turn around and sell your pops on WhatNot app if you want to. Okay, so this says originally it came out in 2017, has a value of $29. Looks like it got re-released re in December. 29 bucks of what it says, it's actually worth $29 in value. So that's not bad, I mean, Double my money. I'm not sure if it'll hold that value since since it restocked because I'll probably, honestly, I'll probably restock again. But here we go, next one. Hopefully, this is going to be an epic one. I know with Chrome Toys, if you get one that's in at least a soft pop protector, you only got a pretty nice hit. No pop protector, but we got the Hamburglar. Just a common Funko Pop. Probably not super expensive. And it is a whole eight bucks going down in value. <laughs> so these two, pretty much, I uh, you know, just probably say I'm pretty much broke even, more or less on, on those two warm up boxes. So like those pops did not have pop tears on them, but whenever I sell those, I will make sure and put those in seven bucks pop pop shield pop protectors. Drug link down below to sevenbuckspop.com. Check them out with your pop protectors and your pop protector needs. So here we go. This is. The Toy USA Funko Pop $500 High Roller Mystery Box of only four pops. It's one mystery box per order. I think I bought two of them. There's one more box on there somewhere. This says there's only 21 total boxes. That's it, 21 boxes. And the top hits are Headless Ned, the Glow Emmett Brown, Pink Batman, Purple Hey, Jimi Hendrix, She-Ra, Gold Master Chief, Glow Mumra, uh, Rasta, Green Chrome, Batman, Metallic, Doctor Doom. And this is not a guaranteed value mystery box. It is not a guaranteed value, which means some of these boxes, you actually will lose money on them. It's going to happen. You cannot help it. In order for some people to get out, you know, a thousand dollar Heather's Ned Stark, some people have to lose a hundred bucks here and there. That's the gamble. But with these high roller boxes, I love them because you have the opportunity to hit some pretty big stuff. You ready? Let's do this. Usually they double box the expensive ones and the top of this is probably full of packing peanuts. We're gonna find out, hopefully not. They make a mess everywhere. Please no packing peanuts. Yeah, no packing peanuts. If there is, it's on the bottom. Yep, it's on the bottom. Packing peanuts. So box number 16, because you actually chose your box, I think. Um, so we actually open this thing up from the bottom so we can't see the top of them. But for you know 500 bucks, the odds to get out of Stacky Boy in this, it's pretty high, you know, because $500 box, pretty much every box is going to have a grail in it. 
It just depends on if it's a grail worth 200 or a grail worth a thousand. Let's do this. I love these expensive mystery boxes. They are a whole heck of a lot of fun. They're, they're expensive though. Do not buy these kind of boxes if you can't afford to lose your money. If you can't afford to lose 500 bucks, do not take the gamble with these kind of boxes because you can lose half your money like that. Here we go. No peeking. Feel around. Okay, so we... This is a good sign. This is a good sign. We have one... One heart stack in here. The other three... Not even in pop protectors. That is a fantastic sign. With Toy USA... Usually, if your like other three are in pop protectors, or if two or three of them are in pop like soft pop protectors, it usually means you kind of got an average box where you lost money. If there's only one pop that's in a protector and a hard stack protector, that's a good sign. I probably at least got my money back, maybe more. Here we go. First one, common pop, no protector. Oh, HR puff and stuff cling. Oh man, these things are still around. I wish I, I would have kept track how many cling and clangs and witchy poos that I got from this, uh, what was this, NYCC 2019. I bet I got two dozen of these from Mystery Boxes. When I sold these last time, I think cling and clang sold for like five, six bucks a piece. That was PPG. It wasn't very much. So that's a good sign actually for this box. Next pop. The back says Funko Bugsy Wingnut. What is that? Came out in July of last year. I have never seen this pop or heard of this pop. Bugsy Wingnut. This must be one of those invented Funko characters that they do from time to time. They used to call them, uh, or now they call them Fantastic Plastics. I don't even think they even make those anymore now. It's pretty much nobody really collects those that I know of. Next one. The Purge Election Year. We have Betsy Ross. Purge election year. Yeah, I don't think these are worth so actually just 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 for fun. Turns upside down so it doesn't open up by accident because there's no weight in it now hardly. We're actually going to no editing, no cuts right now. We're actually gonna look up value of these and see how much it's worth. We're looking on the Whatnot app, which is a wonderful sponsor of this YouTube channel. You can scan the, the barcode, it'll tell you the PPG value. First one, a whole eight bucks PPG. That's a good sign. This one I know is pretty much worthless. This is the cling. So on whatnot, once again, scan it. Cling is, ooh, five bucks. Very good sign. Very good sign. Next, once again, using the whatnot app. PPG value, nine bucks. So the first three pops are worth 22 days. <laughs> I got something big. This box has something very, very big in it. The first three pops only worth $22. That's it. I spent $500. I hit something big in this box. <laughs> Let's take some guesses. What could it be? <laughs> Build the suspense. Top hits were the Headless Ned, the Emmett Brown Glow, and Pink Batman. <coughs> Let's do this. You ready? Let's find out. Let's find out. Which one is the top? Here we go. Which one is it? What I get? We got, oh, it's a pretty good one. We got Mumra. 480 piece glow in the dark Thundercats Mumra. That is a big hit right there. That is a pretty big freaking hit. Look at that. That is nice. Now the top hit, this would be the one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, like top six, seven hit. That's awesome. Let's see value on this one. So Mumra PPG has a value of $590. So my total value on this is 612 bucks. So I spent 500, I got over hundred dollars back in value. So I'm happy with that. Took the huge gamble of 500 bucks and got my money back in just, actually made money in just one pop. 
So that is freaking awesome. Very happy with that. So this is why I like the more expensive mystery boxes, but they're a huge gamble. 500 bucks is a lot of freaking money. But you can get out some pretty big stuff though. I'll see you next time with some more Funko Pop mystery boxes.